How's it going everybody, Batch Pokemon here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be opening another VMAX Climax box, uh, similar to what we did in the shiny V-Star box opening, uh, just to prepare for V-Star Universe, which will hopefully be the um, the video after this one next Wednesday, if I, if I get it in time, which I hope I do. I got a pre-order in for actually MSRP, funnily enough, which was really new, really, really cool. I uh, didn't think I would be that would be possible, but here we are. Hopefully it gets delivered in time. But without further ado, let's try to get this booster box open. I don't have to be that careful, because I've got like a bunch of these. Empty, obviously. And this one is already kind of damaged. That's fine. This one is for opening, of course, and not to leave it sealed. Hey go, let's put that in view. I believe 10 booster packs of VMAX Climax. Uh, last time, the last opening went pretty well, as we pulled a, like, one character secret rare, and the Friends in Gala, which, you know, we could only top that if we pulled a, like, a, a god pack, which is possible, but very unlikely. Nice, we got the Charizard, that's pretty good, that's a really good hollow. Boss's orders. Oh, and here's our character secret rare, right off the bat. We've got the Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, of course, featuring Peony right down there, and a Snom for our reverse. Okay. So, just like the V Star, or not the V Star, just like the Shiny Star V box, immediately, first pack, character secret rare, which I personally don't quite like pulling things in like the first booster pack. Kind of takes away the, the suspense. But then again, this is a special set, so there's plenty of things that we could pull here that would be good. I don't I don't know if uh, pulling the, the character secret rare means that there's no chance for a god pack. I, I don't know that. But, you know, we still have a chance for a normal secret rare, similar to what we what we had for our um for the first opening here. As we pull a triple rare, a Duraladon. Which goes... Jesus. I'm, I'm running out of space. Running out of space. So many things to put away. And that's just like kind of the... Um, kind of the... I don't want to say issue because that's nice. You get a lot of stuff. Like you have so many things you want to sleeve up. Probably not going to sleeve up all of this. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be running out of sleeves by the end of this video. But there you go. There you go. I do like opening these these high class high class sets, and I cannot wait to to open V Star Universe. It's gonna be amazing. Like recently, there have been so many cool cards revealed, like including as we pulled the Zashian, which I was gonna say, a Zashian and Zamazenta. Like I do believe, um, secret art rare. Uh, lots of trainers for someone that that collects full art trainers. Not mainly. But that's like most of the cards in my graded collection. And that that is gonna be an, an amazing, amazing set for for full art trainer collectors. You have between the Cynthia, which is really nice, you also have what is it, Irida and Adaman. You also have uh Sinnoh friends and then Hizui friends, I do believe. All of those look really, really amazing. Oh nice! Our first character where a frost moth. Put this right there. So many amazing bolts we can get in here. And let's see, actually, let me put the booster box like aside. Have the packs like up here, so I've got a bit more space to work with. Bit more space on the table, but anywho, so let's continue. If we pulled another secret rare after pulling the character secret rare, I would flip, but like that would be absolutely amazing, similar to what we did in the in the First, um, VMAX Climax opening. We pulled, I do, I think it was the Crobat with silver in the background, which is a really cool one. Nice, cool God of War, I like that one. And a Blaziken VMAX. And here's our second character rare the Eevee, of course, featuring Bill. Very cool. A secret rare. So, yeah, the, the secret rare you do want to pull, I mean, Friends in Gala is my favorite one, wouldn't mind getting another copy. But I think currently the Gloria one might still be the most expensive one if you go if you want to go off value, which mm, I don't know. I just want cards that look cool. Don't matter what they cost. 
but yeah glory is, is something you want to pull um acerola also in here is kind of expensive and the friends in gala is currently going up again i think people are realizing okay this is the first golden card i pull or the black and gold card i pull out of um v max climax nice that is really nice the first golden card we pull I don't know if this is a single strike or a rapid strike Urshifu, but it is an Urshifu, so there you go. Really cool one. Let's see what else we can get here. Four more packs left, it's over really quickly, which, you know, it is what it is. I do prefer opening these, these smaller packs as like to a, compared to a English booster box, which of course has 36 boosters, so you got a lot to go through. Sometimes it's nice, you know, if, if I want to talk about something, something, the stuff that's going on. Nice, we got a Viunian card. We've got the Morpeko Viunian, which I haven't pulled in a really long time. I think I pulled it in like my very first VMAX Climax opening, like back in, in December last year. So let's just put this, put this together. I did actually talk about the um, the character secret rare of this one, of the Morpeko V-Union, which is actually one of my favorite artworks, but being a V-Union card, you have to kind of like put it together in order to see the full artwork. Now this one is available in a jumbo version. That one is available in a in a jumbo version in English. The other one, the character secret rare, we will end up getting in, v in um, Throne Zenith as a jumbo version, but that said, specifically the Morpeko V-Union, that doesn't release until April. That doesn't release until April um, 2023, so it's still ways away, but I can promise you that artwork is, is super, super cool. Oh, and I say Moltres V. Pretty nice V-Union card. I don't think um, V-Star Universe features V-Union cards. I mean, it most predominantly does feature the V-Star cards, or the art rares and secret art rares. But anywho's, this is the second to last pack. We're only seven minutes in according to my rec according to my recording, that sounds weird. But as I've said, it's over very quickly, but the right is pretty nice. Oh cool, another Urshifu. Another, another Urshifu. All right, hang on. How many character rares have we gotten? I think we've gotten two, plus that character secret rare. We might get another character rare in this one. We might get another character rare or a secret rare. You know, it's possible. It's possible to get a character secret rare and a secret rare. But let's see what we can do in the very last pack. Something good. Something good, Nessa. Something good. We've got a Hollow, Kingdra, We've got an Appleton, I think. We've got a Sylveon, and here we go. Okay, nice. We we did get another character rare, which is really cool, and we've got a Sylveon. Whoop. So that was it. Over very quickly, as I've said multiple times now. Um, I think the most amazing pull is this one, obviously, the character secret rare, Ice Rider Calyrex. Even though this is like, if you've seen the the um, the ranking that I did, this is like in in the C tier if I remember correctly, so not one of my favorites by any means, but still still very very cool. But anywho's, that does it about for this video. Stay tuned for the um, V Star Universe opening that will hopefully hopefully come next Wednesday. And other than that, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and thank you so much for watching. Peace peace.